X, I told you I got you, nigga. Yeah. This is what we do. Yeah. Four corners. Four corners. Four corners. This is the chain of boys and girls, fans of all ages. We're back at it again. Another weekend passed by, another new weekend motion. So you know what we do, man. We're going to give you recaps and previews of last week and this up and coming weekend boxing. And was last weekend crazy? Yo, Uno. Was last weekend crazy? Uno, you know, is in the building. You know that's going to happen, man. You know that's not going to stop. You know he gonna bring you the heat. Yeah, yeah. Life is like Game 7 is out now, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Streaming on all platforms. On You're all right. music streaming platforms, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely get to get it, that. man. West Freddy, Krilly, Uno, you know. Life is like Game 7 is on the mix now. Four Corners TV is back. Giving to you from Four Corners Boxing, man. You know how we keep this going. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good weekend. It was a good weekend in boxing. It was a good weekend in sports, man. Good weekend. Give it up for sports, sports man. God damn. Shout out to the NBA playoffs. God damn. Especially the Eastern Conference. I was all, I've was i been rocking with the Eastern Conference playoffs hard. I feel you, but that, that Portland oh, Denver, that yes, Portland sir. Denver was, 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 that shit was war. Life is like game seven. Life is like game war. seven. That's what we've seen all this weekend in the NBA this week, man. Portland and Denver, the, uh, Toronto and Philly. Man, they was going at it. Bro. Yeah, we big shot by Kawhi, but you know, it, it bounced. It bounced like three times though. Before it finally went down, everybody's heart was just like, yeah. ah! <laughs> Toronto, shout out to all the people out there in Toronto, man. All the Toronto Raptors fans, all my Toronto people that check us out here on Four Corners TV, man. Keep doing what y'all doing. All the Toronto music, Uno. We gonna have to. We're gonna have to go step into Toronto, man, and get them some of that oh no, you know, that ATM, that Buzz Freddy, man, that 1010 Boys music, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, listen, let's get to action, though. PBC, PBC on Fox. On PBC Fox. on Fox yeah. continues to deliver. Continues to deliver. Yeah. They have a fight of the year candidate on their hands, man. Julian J. Brock Williams, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Shout out to you guys and much respect big on the win. On the and we big both picked him to lose, and too. We, yo, listen, Jerry heard, you heard me last week. I will yeah. not bet against him at 154 pounds. Yeah. That has been put to a stop. Looking real vulnerable <laughs> oh. out there, man. That wasn't no Tony Harris, Jamal Charles like, bullshit. Looking like you could have got hit with anything. Yo, J. Rock, when you say, all right, hold, look, just one second, real quick. Jared Swift heard WBA IBF super welterweight champion defended his titles against number one contender Julian J. Rock Williams. Mm -hmm. Philly against DC. Philly against DC, Maryland. Yeah. They was down in VA, so J. Rock went into to enemy territory. Crew. Yeah, to his crew. All right, fighters, get used to that one right there. Beat him up. We go to your block. Up, yo. We could go to your block and do this. You yeah. understand? You beat him I've up. been like that my Damn, entire bro. life, ladies and gentlemen. In front of mommy, bro. If you know you ain't like supposed to let him whip you out in front of mommy, bro. In front of his mama. Shout out to she pops. Yeah. Good, Shout yeah. out to pops in front of his she mama. Looking good, B. J. Rock. Listen, the definition of beating the champ. To be the champ was what J. Rock Julian Williams did, man. Yeah, he took Saturday that, Saturday night. He took that. He took the title. He dropped Jerris Hurd for the first time in his career. The man, mm -hmm. Swift hit the deck for the first time in his career, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. Mick James in the back, held trail in the building, and legend behind the film. You know how it goes. Y'all know this is Four Corners TV and you live from West Freddy. We was at Lexus Bar and Grill and Shaking. Garden. Yeah, she was 354, cool. 204 Street in the Bronx. Highlight my man, Axe and Heck. We gonna get it rocking in there. Fight nights will be in there. Great time, like I said. Good vibes, good people, good food, good drinks. What more can you ask for? You know what's gonna happen? A good night when you're chilling with Uno, you yeah. know. Fight night X and the West Freddy gang, the 1010 boys, man. At Lexus shaking. Bar and Garden, you heard? Ax, keep doing your thing, man. You're getting a lot of, <laughs> yo, listen, uh, uh, Jamal Bailey, man. Is, is is put him on the list. He put Lexus Barber on his list of nice spots here in the Bronx to come check him out, man. Maul Bailey is a senator here, if I'm not wrong. Senator. He's a senator. He, he, he's in the he politics, man. Say, something like that. He in there. He repping for the BX2, heavy. You yeah. heard? This, yo, J-Rock did his damn thing, man. 
he took the titles from Jerry Swift, gave him his first loss. Jerry heard, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, J. Rock. He took the loss to Charlo. I was he just took the loss. He got knocked the he fuck out. He got knocked the fuck That's out, I and I was rocking J. Rock on that one. You but heard? that was just because he got caught clean with a good counter. Like he didn't. He tried to bang out. He tried to bang out with yeah, this but guy. He got, got caught. Strong. Like he got caught in motion. So his shits. It was like when uh, Canelo hit. Uh, huh? Nah. Other dude. What's my What's my man? Uh, with the. He's had the female oh, uh, trainer. Oh, oh. Uh, Hammerhead, what's his name? James Kirkland. Kirkland, Kirkland. Whoa, one yeah. of those shits. Yeah, yeah. Like, those. You get hit and it's like, oh, boom. Yeah, so he knocked him cold. J-Rock came back from that. He scored four victories, man. He earned his spot to be the number one contender. Wow. You know? Mm -hmm. Shout out to these guys in the hard work that gets put in the gym, man. Mm -hmm. J-Rock put it in and he took the title from my man, Jerry Swift Hurd. Took it. Took it. No question. And there's an immediate rematch in the clause. Word is that Jerry Heard wants the immediate rematch. He said, we running it back. But I got to give the respect to uh, 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 J-Rock because he said, I came into your hood, right? Man, you got to come to mom. Come to bring it to Philly. Bring yeah. it to Philly, man. Philly, yeah, listen. Philly's heating up big time with the fights out there, yeah. too. Seven Farmer just had his home coming out there. They were getting it rocking, man. Mm. Eddie Hearn and them boys putting a lot of shows in Philly over there, man. You know the legend B-Hop is from there. Philly is a fight city, man. So what about your man, uh... Swift Herb? Nah, your other guy that, that lost again. <laughs> Dog boat. Oh, we gonna go to them. We gonna get into them. We gonna get into them. We gonna get into them. They gonna, they're going on ESPN. That's ESPN top rank. Right now, we just got to run it on PBC. Also, on PBC, the announcement that came through, the, 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 the living legend, man. My guy, man. Pac Manny Pacquiao. Man. Keith Thurman, I told you guys announcement was coming soon. Announcement has just been hit. July 20th, Las Vegas, yeah. Fox pay-per-view, Pacquiao Thurman, WBA yeah. welterweight championship is on the line. Yeah. Does the legend live on or can Keith Thurman stop that? Let's go, Pac. It's over. I'm going with it's Pac, over. man. Mick James saying that it's over, you heard? I'm going with Pac. Pac is my Until guy. Until he's on his back. He's my man forever, man. Keep with the attack. He's gonna keep going, man. So I mean, gotta pack out Thurman, in. I don't it's believe in be Thurman. I don't see. believe in Thurman. I don't believe in him. You gotta show me something, bro. If Thurman could take out Pacquiao, that'd be Danny Garcia. He's talking, he's talking Porter, though. And Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, he's a resume. good talker. Shout out to Keith Thurman. If he could do that, that's a big, that's on the resume. That's heavy for the resume. Who, cool, Thurman? Thurman. That'd be Danny, Porter, and Pacquiao on the list. You know what I'm saying? That's, yeah, that's, but uh, you know what's gonna leave a lot next? of people kind of felt like Porter beat him, though. It was a, I had I had Thurman winning that fight seven five close fight uh, close yeah. fight you could say Porter won I won't argue because it was that close a lot close of people fight. said Danny beat him a lot of people said you said come Danny. on said man. Danny beat him. so you mean Thurman's Thurman just getting by yeah, just he's just getting by just getting by he's getting by by the skin of his teeth and he damn near didn't get by against his last Jose last Lito. fight Jose Lito came at him. And knocked him to another oh, dimension. Joints, too. He was like, <laughs> he knocked him out this good. Yo, you seen uh, you seen the end game when Shorty knocked Bruce Banner out the hole? Oh man! The nigga knocked his soul out of him for seven seconds. Oh, see the shit. You came back. Yo, I'm One telling time, you, Pat shit was yeah. crazy. Your man Thurman, I don't know. I don't believe it's on July 20th. I don't believe, man. man. Going to uh, ESPN, yeah. Isaac Dogbay, the rematch for his title. He lost his title back in December. He challenged Navarrete again. Got his ass whooped. He got his ass whooped again. This time he got stopped in the 12th, man. Dogbay, my guy, I love you, <laughs> but I don't know if he's guy. ever going to be the same fighter again, man. He's definitely a good guy. He had the cookie. <laughs> no, he had cookies. He hit the deck. He had, a one, he had one cookie on top, and then the other side on the other, other side was on the bottom. That's the same shit that happened in the first This shit was looking like Martin for real. His father threw that Martin time, episode, guys, he had to stop that him. he looked like it for real in real life, though. Those, those type of beatings, that fighters, I, don't, I just don't be the same, man. Those are the fights that you see guys, you be like, damn, there's so much potential was behind that guy yeah. and he's damaged goods now. I hope Isaac Dog may get his shit back together and come back strong. But now that they keeps the WBO 122 pound strap convincingly too. He he's ready for some unifications. Like there's money over there at that 122. You know what I'm saying? Guys, we're gonna get right back to you in a few. But like I said, man, four corners TV each and every time, man, live from West Fetty Studios. In West Falls, man, from the BX, Uno, you know, life's like game seven. We gonna bring it to you each and every time, man. We'll be right back. Yeah.
Look at it, Four Corners TV, man, bringing it to you live in presentation of Four Corners Boxing like we do here, man, live from West Fetty Studios in the Bronx. It's Fight Night X, Uno you know. Smoking that shit, you know what I'm saying? Giving in the previews and reviews of the past and up and coming weeks of boxing. And like I was saying in the first half, I picked Jerry Hurd, he lost. I picked Isaac Dolbe to regain his title, he lost. But one, no, not one fight I didn't lose. Yo, he has to keep the score. Listen, I went one for one that night. He one for one. I, no, I went one for two. I went one for two because oh. Miguel Burchell, the WBC. Oh, I picked Burchell too. Then, so yeah, two pound champion. Two and one. Stop Francisco Vargas, like we said early this college. time. Evil Giuseppe gonna keep that strap. He yeah. kept that strap. Yeah, gonna keep that strap. I, yo, Miguel Burchell is itching closer and closer to my pound for pound list, man. Listen. This guy won the title back in 2017. He's made about four defenses. He's a big 130 pounder. He's a big, and I would love to see him in unifications, man. Tevin Farmer is out there. They can get it rocking. Come on, man. Him and Tank Davis would be a tremendous. Oh, man. Mikel Burchard and Tank Davis would be crazy right now. That would be tough. Top rank got him over there on ESPN. They're talking about moving him up to lightweight and face Vasily Lomachenko. If, if Miguel Burchell does not get a unification fight in his next fight, he will be on the top ranked card, making another defense, and I'll see him fighting Lomachenko at the end of the year, moving up to 135 to challenge. Burchell only has one defeat. This guy, had, after tough. that first defeat, it tough. was over. Like He tough. came through, he stopped Francisco Vargas, he stopped Mickey Rome. He stopped Francisco Vargas twice, twice now. Twice. Mickey Rome in another shootout this past November. The guy's on his bully, man. 130 pounds is lit. I bet the Machado's coming back to have his rematch with Andrew Cancio and that big upset that went down. Yeah, he better not play this time. No, oh, Explosivo. I don't know. That man on his shit, he can pop. Him and mm -hmm. Rochelle would be crazy as well, man. Puerto Rico, Mexico. Machado got to get his strap back coming up. Yeah, because he... Yeah. But 130 pounds is lit, man. And, and, and Miguel Bichel continues to dominate. I could get, like I said, he's itching closer to my pound for pound list. This guy's the real deal. I wouldn't bet against him at 130. Told you that about Jared Swift last week. Yeah, yeah, you're betting ain't been good. <laughs> no, no, Swift, man, come on. He was pounding everybody nah, out. Frankenstein, Frankenstein, I don't know. He couldn't, he couldn't get it right. He got to stop using don't, 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 don't bet. Don't bet. Listen, don't bet. Stop making two bets. fight of the year candidates, though. Gotta get him in power. We're going to get him the best in a minute, man. We're going to get him the best in a minute. We always talking that shit. Yeah, man. Listen, don't even get me started, man. Don't even get me started with your shit, man. <laughs> This weekend, this Saturday, is back. Bomb Squad Wilder, like I've been telling yes, you sir. this past couple weeks. Brooklyn Bomb is back squad. on the map Saturday night. Deontay Wilder, WBC heavyweight champion, defends the title against Dominic Brazil, number one contender. Mm -hmm. You know, we want the Joshua fights. We want the Fury rematch. Mm -hmm. Listen. They both in New York. They go. Just yeah. continue to stay tuned. Yeah, Joshua's, Joshua's up in two weeks. They both here. And then, back back. Up, and then Fury's and then up the week that. after that. Yeah. This heavyweight time in the boxing is. Yeah, they all these trying to show out. They trying to show out right now. Boxing. They yeah. trying to show out. It's heavyweight boxing. That's why Bomb Squad set it off first. You know, you you know what back. time it is, man. Uh, you know what time it is, up. man. Again, Dominic Brazil, I feel he's going to put up a fight. He is, though. He he's is. not going to be a wash-up just like that. But then again, with that, it doesn't matter. It doesn't what you matter. Think? What you think? I think he's going to come in here on some Fury. He's going to be on his Fury vibe. He's big. He's just as big as Wilder, man. He's just as big. That kid is big. But he's gonna box him. He gonna want to jab with him. He gonna box him. Jab with him. I just, it's like it just doesn't matter though. You think bro. if like, he stands flat foot, he has a team better box? Round, whatever round. Like Wilder, Wilder catches box. you, whether it's one through twelve, whether you beating him up, whether he's that tired. Box. All he gotta do is hit you one time, bro. You see that over and over. Oh, King Kong Ortiz was giving it to him. If King Kong Ortiz would have just if whatever you want to do. Ain't no if though. He and gave he it his all. He gave him all. Man. He, he could have dropped him. And he could have put him came down. Back and boom, bro. Then he came back the next my round. Mama me. I like my father. And he couldn't hear a sound. Listen. Feel me? Because he was. He was Tyson down. Fury. Tyson Fury was winning the fight. Tyson Fury was winning yeah, the fight. Yeah, he was boxing better. And then he almost got he's killed, man. The only man to get up. That's the only man I've seen get up once again, Wilder, bro. His soul left his body <laughs> for at least seven seconds, bro. He said, I woke up and he all I heard was five. He was dead. He said, I woke up and all I heard was five. He like, was dead. 
He said, I gotta get up. Yo, I'm pretty sure that's why the ref even was confused counting because he thought he was that. dead. He's looking at his eyes. the shimmy. Ah, blew the kiss to wife. Yo, bro. She was like, I love you, baby. Bro. Yo, Ball Squad is in the building bro. Saturday night. He died and came back to life. You want to see Slugfest? You saw one last week on PBC and Fox. Al Heyman, you heard? He put that he put that fight on with Jerry Heard and J. Rod Williams. This week is is Wilder on Showtime. You know, mm -hmm. Al got it. Al got, got it on both ends, man. Al got it clicking. This is why, yo. We got a, we got a, we got a lot of dramas. Politics like always in boxing, mm -hmm. but you gotta remember, man. Al Heyman doing this thing. He got Showtime and Fox. Top rank got ESPN on lock. ESPN Plus. The zone is rocking with Eddie Hearn and Matchroom Boxing. The zone is rocking. The zone is definitely rocking. Mick, thank you very much, bro. Mick is in the back. He keeps waving at me like this, like this. I'm like, what the fuck this guy? <laughs> Excuse my language. Harold Letterman, man. Harold so, Letterman. Rest in peace word. to the whole oh, ball, man. Word. Harold Letterman. I got him up five rounds to six. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, taking over, clean boxing. I just can't see it going his way, Jim. <laughs> you know who it is. Uh, Harold Letterman, man. Legend. The legend. The legendary. Scorecard master. Mm -hmm. Though sometimes I didn't agree with them a lot of times, Harold. I didn't agree with your joints all the time, Harold. I ain't even gonna lie, you heard? I ain't even gonna lie. But a boxing icon, man. Salute. One that'll never be replaced ever again. Uh, Harold Letterman, rest in peace. Mm. Blessings to your family. Do a moment of silence, man. We give you a moment of silence, my brother. Right. Thank you for all the great boxing call, all the fights that you called, all the fights that you scored, and your insight. These guys used to interview Harold Letterman all the time and get his picks on what he see going on, who he see winning these up and coming championships fights, man. An icon to the boxing world. How let him in, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna continue on. We're gonna keep it going. It's not gonna stop. Life's like game seven. And that's all we've been seeing this past weekend on the NBA, you heard? And on May 12th, Sunday, seconds. Mama, the Mother's Day, shout out, blessings to all the mothers, I hope everybody had a good one, man. We've been fleshing in the heavens. They continue to be with us all the way. Nothing like mama's love, you hear me? Life's like Game 7. Uno, you know, and Pretty Girls dropped the new EP. It's out on all music streaming platforms. Like I said, we was out all week getting busy. We was promoting it at Alexis Bar, at Alexis Bar and Grill. We promoting it through the fight night here at Four Corners TV, mm -hmm. Four Corners yeah, Boxing for you. Check that. All, all streaming platforms. IGTV. Listen. All streaming platforms. Uno, you know. One word, no W on the no. You know what I'm saying? Follow me on Check Instagram. that in everywhere, any, anywhere. Twitter. Check that music. About to drop a new video soon. A lot of things in the works. More shows, more moves. You know what I mean? We keep climbing and working to the top, man. More time in his West Fetty Studios. Like we said, man, we bring you Four Corners TV from it each and every week. Giving you the recaps on the week, giving you the updates on the latest music that's being now legend behind the film. So when the videos drop, you know who's directing, man. You know who's producing from behind that camera, man. He's doing it right here for us on Four Corners TV each and every Monday night. We're gonna keep, we gonna keep it going. It's not gonna stop. Again, shout out to Lexus Bar and Garden, yeah, on Fifty Seven Two Hundred Four Great Hospitality. Street. Everything was rocking Saturday night, and we continue to bring it back, man. We continue to bring it back on the next one. Remember, guys, the fight is on Fox. They're on ESPN right now. Pull up to the bar, man. Pull up to the bar. Pull up and watch the game as well. Because we was catching all of that going yeah. down. We yeah. was catching all that going down as well, man. NBA playoffs. Kawhi hit the shot. That's the news right now. That's what's buzzing. But guess what? Kawhi versus the Greek is what's coming up. That's going to be monstrous, man. Shout out to CJ, too. McCollum. Ooh, man. He took Ooh. over the game. Big game from CJ, man. The New York Advanced Yankees. Advanced Portland. First That's time you know since 2000. We took uh, two out of three over the Devil Rays. Mm -hmm. Just kicked Seattle's ass. Mm -hmm. You know? The Yankees is coming for that number one spot. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to keep bringing it back, man. Next chapter. Next session. Four Corners TV. Fight yeah. Night X. Uno, you know. You already know. Check us out, bro. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, boxing fans of all ages, 
we bring you the next chapter in this week's in session of Four Corners TV in association with, again, Four Corners Boxing. You know we got the gear. You know what I'm saying? He's always looking fly, his four corners down. He he like the, the army colors. He like to be army fatigue, ready for war, because it's pound for pound in the ring and ball for ball in the studio. So if you think that you want to do this, then I put my money on Uno anytime, you heard? Bring your bars to West Fetty Studio. Come inside, step in, let me hear what you got. Listen, we're willing to work with everybody that's getting it in, man. Shout out to Money Marv as well in Vegas, man. Seen him on Hot 9. Seen him on Hot 9 doing his thing, moving up. We all in the building, baby, you hear me? That's what it is, man. But check it out. This week, we're going to give you some UFC talk because we could do that too, man. MMA. Shout out to Pat. Yo, Pat, what's up, man? When you going to come up in here and give us a segment on Four Corners TV with the UFC MMA? That's the man I call when I want to place my bets on MMA. You hear me? On UFC fights. I do, if I'm not too sure, yo, Pat, where I go with it? So we put it on Max Holloway against, uh, what's his name, man? The Ponytail California Kid, man. Listen, I don't know all their names like I know them in boxing, but we're going to get busy, man. That fight right there that night, man, I came up $600, man. I put 200 on Max Holloway to keep his title. He was a 3-1 to one underdog that night, man, on my man's line, you heard? But we came up that night, you heard? Anderson the Spider Silver was on. UFC 237, you know, they their pay-per-views is up there. They've been around for a while doing their thing, man. They ain't the white, got that shit clicking. Conor McGregor, we need you back in the building. I cannot continue to see you talking on Twitter and get caught. Come back to the ring, man. You hit the jackpot you fucking right, with bro? the boxing world and Money Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? That's what you happens when you fight and then you fall TBE, back. man. Come on, man. You get that biggest check you ever had in your life, man. <laughs> he done retired a few cats, man. Here, take this ass whipping and this check Carter. and go on and, and, and live your life. You know what I'm game, saying? Man. You see how Madonna trying to creep back in? He need money. He probably spent all that. Listen, <laughs> you know? Madonna lost a lot of weight on you the know? back, man. Oh, that man good. He good. He probably he What? Nah, he just he want to get he back probably, in. He want to get blew, back blew, in. He probably blew some M's. That nigga blew some M's. Nah, Madonna, you see how fat he had gotten? She knows he's eating good, man. Eat yeah, a cow a week, eating man. real good. Eat a cow a week, man. Eat real good. Eat a cow a week. He eating good, yeah, man. man. You want to come back to boxing now? Mm. Listen. Connor, oh, we need no. you back in the MMA game, man. We oh, need you back there. Anderson Silver, you really need to stop, bro. Really need oh, to yeah, stop. Oh, yeah, his leg got broke. His, his leg, leg is dead. Yeah, man. Please, man. MMA fans, tell your Them bones tell ain't Anderson never Silver that is saying. It said he's such a legend. He did great things in the sport. His but bones, now, they're not regenerating the way they used to, man. He going out on some Roy Jones yeah. shit in boxing, man. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> stop, man. He was great. He was great. He bro, he was getting sure, washed sure, up. Sure. I'm like, stop, bro. Chill, chill, chill. Hold on. We ain't going. No, no, we ain't going. No, no. We ain't going. Remember Roy like that. That's you know what I mean? Was, that's how nah, it's nah, happening. Nah, nah, it's nah. happening nah. to Anderson Silva now. Nah, Roy, you're yeah. Roy. Salute. Oh, Feel me? Salute. I don't know what he's talking about. Oh. I don't even know what he's talking about. Jose I Aldo see those fights. with them this week as well. And the main event. Oh, my goodness. Thug Rose. Thug Rose went up against this girl, Andrea. Andrea. From Brazil. From Brazil. Andrea. She's the champion. Thug Rose, the champ of the division, went in there swinging. Yo, Thug Rose was lighting her up, bro. Mick James, I tell you, Thug Rose was giving her the business. Shorty was, Andrea was bleeding out one eye. Wow. And it looked like she had her. Oh, And then she hit goodness. her with the reverse belly to belly suplex. She picked her on up her and neck. put her on her neck. Yo, her neck. I can, you can't even bend your neck. Listen, I can't even show you the Thug way you bend. That's the strength of an athlete, bro. That's why you gotta stay it shape. Looks, those hits, yo, you have to be strong to take. She died. She died, bro. She died for like soul ten seconds. Left the body. Soul was gone. It was. It was looking at her on the mat. I'm telling you, she was bro, out she was cold. Out. And then at eleven seconds, stopped it right there. The ref didn't even like she no, didn't yeah. even to throw, but he blocked it and he was like, yo, that's it. She was out. And then the next thing you know, she was up and fine. It's like, the, the, I, I couldn't understand she, she it. She shook her hand, gave her a hug. Gave her a hug, a kiss, a smile. I thought you died. Listen. How did you gather up the strength for the hug, kiss, and smile? 
Shout out to Thug Rose, man. Bless her soul, man. Crazy. Bless her fight game. Bless all fighters, man. And I mean, man, that, yo, that UFC so, shit is crazy, man. Us as fight fans and, and uh, we, we the toughest critics, man. When it comes to boxing, when it comes to MMA, the salute, fight game, salute. the toughest critics. But salute to everybody salute, that steps man. into that ring, man, because they put their life on the line each and every time. We call fighters bombs. We do all that. But you know what? The best um, breakdown for fighters, Jesse Vargas said, he said, yo, how about you go run five laps around your block? Run five laps around your block and then step up to me with your hands up. He said, that's what's happening, bro. You in there going in, you gasping, but you got a dude right in front of you that's not going to stop. You got to keep them hands up. You got to keep going just as hard or you're going to get ran the fuck over. So if you ain't going to go run five rounds around your block and then step in the ring and spar, chill. Doug Rose, bro, she got slammed on her head. She was out. We was like... Jaw drop. Nobody could even move. Like this. Hey. Yeah, I look really, really bad though. For real. Whoa! The whole bar at Lexus. Yeah. yeah Everyone at Lexus. Ball grill again. Her neck. Seven two zero four Street. Yeah. Her neck, neck hit the mat. Like it was sideways with the mat. Whoa! Like, and everybody just stood like that from there. On the mat like this. Till till till. We so seen her move like this on the mat upside down. Though she got slammed on her shit like that this. And MMA life, man. That's and that she MMA was life. dead. Combat for sports. ten seconds. They yes. almost brought the defibrillator joint in there for for real. They almost brought it in the ring. It was real. that was crazy. They might have had the shock to the back to life. She was bad, but she made it through. So shout out to her. Shout that, that I hope you got uh, good health and all that. I hope there's no... Yo, Shogun, Raul, where you at, man? Crazy. Where you at, bro? I seen you in the one set last week. You were supposed to come watch the Canelo fight with us, but you disappeared. Everybody knows Shogun is that UFC MMA head, man. His crib is where that shit go down at over here. You're in the burp. That's my boy Shogun. Again, shout out to Pat. That's my man. When I need to know who I'm going to bet on, if I'm not too sure, in the UFC or any MMA Bellator fights, Listen, I highlight Pat. Step up here, Pat. Come through, hang out with us, man. I'm gonna come check you out out there in Brooklyn, man. You already know what it is, bro. But we need you on Four Corners TV to kick that MMA knowledge and get the fans the updates and let them know, you know what I'm saying, exactly what's going down in your fight world. Because in the boxing world, we know that uh, Shakur Stevenson mm -hmm. is having a homecoming July out. July 13th. New York, New Jersey, top rank. And ESPN. he's headlining. ESPN top rank. Shakur's getting the homecoming. Yeah. Jay Prince, what up, Andre Ward? Uh -huh. Listen, <laughs> and uh, that was my Grizz, Grizz, the Grizz, the co-head. Joshua, Joshua, Joshua Grizz, young, yeah. young. Oh, he's like 112 pounds. Yeah, but he gets busy though. He comes in with the pillow. He, he comes in busy. with the pillow. He brings the pillow to the ring. You're going night night. What you call the, the rock'em, uh, the rock'em bop'em shits. <laughs> Okay. Rock and socket, Bob, boom, boom. Nice, skillful, young, up, up and coming fighter, also at top rank. Joshua Caleb Grimm, Plant. Caleb Plant. Uh, July 20th. IBF super middleweight champ, Caleb Plant. He's going to open up on Fox for Manny Pacquiao and and Keith Thurman. Yeah. Shout out to Caleb Fight against Plant. Mike Lee. PVC and Fox. You know, they're giving us the prelims as well, leading us to the big pay per view. On July 20th. Yeah, they have to because the pay per view shit, man. The, the, the zone. The zone's doing their thing? What you think? How you think? How you think? You think pay per view is, is, is dead or? It's not It's not so much that it's dead, it's that they just not putting them together the way they need to. They need to start putting these, these things together with more title fights. Know what I mean? Like, yeah, there's a main event, but, but there's a title fight, fight, fight before that. And a title up. fight before that. And then maybe the first undercard could be some up and coming niggas that's fighting to get a title fight. I don't want to see a bunch. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. We're paying $70 and we see mediocre undercards. And then if the main fight ain't good, then what? And the whole car was a dud. Then it's a it dud. Sometimes the undercards could save, save a, a bad and main you, event. And you put the good fight together and put you it on. Saying? Yeah. So that's what they need to This is what we too. want. This is what we want, Heyman. This is what we want on PBC, right. pay-per-view, Showtime, and Fox, man. No, everybody want to be a headliner. Top rank. This is what we want. Shout out to top rank, though, now that you yeah. say that. They yeah. had a good undercard at the guard, and they, they, put, they, put, a they, card. Did. they put a card together. They did, they did, they did. They did. Oh, you talking about when Khan Khan Quinn? Crawford. <laughs> Khan Quinn got his ass whooped. Yeah. But Delfimo was on that undercard. Shakur Stevenson, again, in New York, was on that undercard. And Felix Verdejo did that. Mm -hmm. Good way to stagger, you know, in the building. Bro. You know they're going to keep it coming to New York. Anthony Joshua in two weeks. J Triple G, your mind. Big drama show. Big drama show. He's coming back. 
on the 8th of June. It's going to be a hot summer, man. This is Four Corners TV each and every time, man. We bring it to you, and we wrap it up with y'all this week, but we're going to bring it back again next week. Stay tuned, stay focused, and yeah. continue supporting. Thank you to everybody that comes out there and check us out. Good luck. Yes. Hold a toe up in your ring and every blow I bring I see it wakens up your body Cause a nigga fucking scheming Dog with no muzzle out these shuffle Look he fucking dreaming And here for him I'm here to win And I ain't breaking even The champ is how I'm leaving Heart of war make sure your opponent is a